Yes, I knew the camera was on. Yes. Anyway, good morning. Or is it good evening? Sometimes hard to tell, especially when you have the blinds closed and you don't leave the house all day long, then it is kind of hard to tell. But mm, I have been busy editing for your benefit. I just thought I'd have a little look at um, Brexit news. And I mean, not that you can take any of it fucking seriously, because I mean, it changes day to day, doesn't it? Ah, sorry. And uh, yeah, so I said my socks. They'd be, you know, anyway. Um, right. So what's the latest then? Some miserable fucking undemocratic cunt decided she was going to take the whole of the United Kingdom to court and uh, she kind of won <laughs> so she thinks um, because she said no you can't you cannot you cannot uh, prorogue Parliament you cannot take Parliament out yes you can of course you can do you think Boris Johnson was going to do that without the okay of the Queen of course he wasn't of course she wanted it she wanted it because it was just fucking dragging on it's a bloody embarrassment but fair enough you know she lets people get what they want because she's a, a nice Queen aren't we lucky we've got a nice Queen because if we didn't have a nice Queen if we didn't have a fucking nice Queen we would be in big trouble we'd be in big fucking trouble um, I mean, I'm not a great fan of the monarchy in principle but you know what when it comes to Brexit and breaking away from the EU fuck off fly I don't know where that came from the windows have been closed for ages so. um, when it comes to Brexit I think yes let us let us let us have a queen because I'd rather have a sovereign queen and a sovereign country than be in the EU but the, as I said be, might have said this before the big thing that nobody wants to talk about is the military and the fact that they've done deals behind the scenes to lock the military into the EU and they don't know what to fucking do that could be one reason why it's taking so long because they're shitting their fucking diapers over what they're going to do over the military because how are you going to reverse that how are you going to reverse that? You think you think it's hard to think it's fucking hard to get the people in the country out of the EU? Oh, they've really fucking messed up the military situation. What the fuck are they going to do there? Because that's going to have to be next. It's going to be like unwind that one. And you think you've seen? You think you've fuck me? We ain't seen nothing yet. Whoa. Yeah. So anyway, um. The Knights Templar want me to sign a thing saying that uh, the um, Supreme Court um, are traitors. And I think that's not a bad estimation because realistically, um, when the Supreme Court thinks that it runs the country more than the Queen, we have a fucking problem. So I do think that uh, there's a bit of traitor traitorous behaviour going on but what you've got to remember is the Queen allows Parliament the Queen puts up with the Lords and puts up with the House of Commons and is even put up with this decision of the court she puts up with it she doesn't have to but she does so she gave Boris his chance Go on then. You want to fucking close Parliament down early? Do it. But I, as long as you don't put my name on it, because I'm not getting the fucking, I'm not going to blame for that, right? But she could have, if she wanted to, been a bit bolder and said, "Do you know what? I'm backing Boris because you're all a bunch of fucking little twats, you childish motherfuckers. I'm closing Parliament down. Have your Brexit without a fucking deal. I don't give a fuck. That's what she should have said." And that was very close to what was going to be said. But, as per with, you know, 
she wasn't very happy about Diana, you know, and she didn't want to fly that flag when Diana died. But in the end, what did she do? She went, OK, all right, then, you fucking bastards. Have your fucking flag, you miserable moaning cunts. Yeah. So she can be coerced. She can be got on board, but she, ha you know, Boris was trying to get it through really quickly now he's now it's it's a bit of a mess again isn't it because everyone's fucking fighting over the scraps of on the floor you know and it's bullshit it's absolute fucking bullshit so yes i say that in my humble opinion the supreme court of this land are traitors traitorous people because they have gone against the will of the queen they think they are above the queen they're not they're employed by the Queen, and the law in this land is only there because the Queen says so. And if the Queen decides that, um, I don't know, let's have a think now, so I mean, you know, uh, it's okay to murder people in the streets, then she can click her fingers and tomorrow murder is acceptable. Because she decides the laws, not a bunch of fucking judges. That's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. The only reason we have democracy is because the Queen allows it, okay? So, she allowed Boris to have a go at pushing the Brexit thing through. Everyone fucking moaned. She went, oh, all right then, all right, all right. But it was, it was more out of her wanting to give people that kind of illusion of demo democratic, you know, Thing. Dem de democracy but as you know everyone knows we don't have it written we don't have a we've got um we've got the magna carta we've got you know um common law but ultimately all these things mean nothing in terms of a monarchy because the monarchy can actually overrule them and override them it can shut down parliament can override any law everything has to have what is known as royal assent which means that we can decide any laws we want, but the Queen has to go, OK. And the Queen can go just as easily, fuck off, if she wanted to. But she doesn't, because it gives the illusion of democracy, and that's what people like. And I mean, what the fuck does it matter to the Queen? These don't think, these fucking rules don't mean anything to the Queen. They only affect the people, they don't affect the Queen. Hmm. So, um, ultimately, you know, yeah, I think there was a bit of treasonous behaviour went on there. And uh, I would like to see the um, treasonous traitors hung. So what's her name? Uh, Gina Miller. Gina Miller. Hmm. And some of those judges. Yeah. Heads on gibbets, do you reckon? That be would that be going a bit too far? Do you think? Heads on gibbets. Hmm. What they what these people don't realise, you see, is if they piss the queen off too much, she doesn't like to show her hand. Okay. She makes things happen behind the scenes. She's not fucking stupid. Yeah. She doesn't she doesn't show her hand. Yeah. So when the queen is upset or the Queen is offended by something I would imagine that magically things happen all by themselves magically so if I was Gina Miller or these judges I'd be pretty fucking worried right now because you piss the Queen off and go we tell you what to do she goes of course you do of course you do my dears fucking kill the cunts so over the next couple of years I think we'll probably see some early early deaths of these judges uh, because the Queen does not like being told what to do we'll see a couple of they'll all fucking die yeah they'll have their so they'll have cancers and they'll of the cars will crash and you know just terrible bad luck but I think uh, yeah they won't be around much longer really you know and I, I think their fucking chances of uh, I mean, the chances of um, uh, nice retirement packages are probably not looking pretty good right now. 
there we are. This is what, if you think you're above the Queen, you better watch Game of Thrones. That's all I can say. Well, I wouldn't want to... We can all joke around, but uh, I would not want to fucking try and take the power from our monarch. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get... We're going to get Brexit, and we're going to have monarchy power again. And I think, you know, the sooner people get used to the idea that uh, we're not going to be ruled by undemocratically fucking elected um, morons in Europe, and we're going to be undemocratically um, ruled by those that like to kill each other and fight wars, the, the sooner people realise that that system is actually what we're going to have, the better. Because, um, would you want to give up that sort of power if you had it? I don't. Would you, if you were the, if you were the queen, would you want to go, oh, you know, I suppose I should just give it all up, really, shouldn't I? I should just go. I'll go and live in a care home. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, no, I'll give up all my castles, and I'll give up all my fucking Range Rovers, and I'll give up all my, all that, all that makes me my my germanic background everything i'll give it all up i'll give it all up and we will let some fucking pricks from brussels we'll let we'll let we'll let um i know who we'll let we'll let um that welsh bastard not this welsh bastard we'll let we'll let um neil kinnock and his son yeah we'll let them run us shall we really really yeah really not going to happen is it so anyway if you want to hear more of my stupid insane opinions you can tune into mindset radio this um sunday and if i can actually be bothered to get out of bed um well i probably will because uh the host of the show is going to ring me up and wake me up early to remind me to be on there so um tune into mindset radio mindset central so type it into Google, it's not fucking hard, and get the fuck over there, and we shall see you on Sunday. Um, it's not It's not live, actually. Uh, so what am I, why am I telling you to go over there on Sunday? I've got to be there on Sunday, you don't have to. <sighs> yeah. So you get off lightly. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.